Hello my dear friends, how are you? I am sure you are always fine because everybody, you, all of us have a positive attitude in your life. In our life rather I can say, everybody should keep a positive approach, positive attitude towards the life. And that is one of the part is our serial that is Ayurveda for all. Ayurveda is a life science. Ayushaha, Vedaha, Ayurvedaha. It's a trick, it's a skill how we can live our life very healthily and happily. And that is why everybody of us know a little basic knowledge about Ayurveda. So this is the serial Ayurveda for all. We are talking about the types of Kapha Dosha. As everybody now knows that our human body is composed of Vata, Pitta and Kapha, the important bioenergies. Vata bioenergy is responsible for all types of movements. Pitta bioenergy is responsible for all types of transformation, convergence and metabolic processes. And Kapha bioenergy, Kapha dosha is responsible for nutrition of the body, growth of the body, maintenance of the body. So each and every cell is composed of or having a control of Vata, Pitta and Kapha dosha. These are the three bioenergies. If these bioenergies are existing everywhere in our body, then why we are talking about only five types? Because these five types are the capital cities or the headquarters which can have a regulation of all other body molecules composed of the Vata, Pitta and Kapha. So these five centers are very important. Vata Dosh has five subtypes. Pitta dosh has also five subtypes and Kapha dosh is also having the five subtypes. What are the names? Kledak, Bodak, Avalambak, Shleshak and Tarpak. Each and every Kapha molecules is responsible for nutrition of some types of the other. Then also the growth of that particular cell or particular system or particular organ and also to maintain the energy maintain the life force, maintain the urge or the immunity of that particular body structure. It may be a cell, it may be organ or it may be a system. Kapha dosh will definitely take care of wear and tear of the body cells of the body organ or the body system. So Kapha dosh is acting antagonistically opposite to the action of Vata or the Pitta properties. Vata and Pitta are the dynamic energies. They want body to move, to act. But during this action, there should be some protective mechanism. Otherwise, we will disintegrate. We will degenerate fastly. So, our body metabolism is always having a balance in anabolism and catabolism. And catabolism is basically having the resource as a Vata and Pitta. But Kapha Dosha, Kapha Bioenergy is taking care of anabolic type of process. Actually, anabolism plus catabolism makes the metabolism. Our human activity goes on with the combination of anabolism and catabolism. For example, Vata Dosha is moving all the molecules, all the cells, all the activity are going on because of the force of Vata Bioenergy. But as you know, when we drive our vehicle, Say for example, I am driving my motorcycle, motorbike. If I am driving my car, this car is moving. This car wheels are moving all the time. Engine is pumping. So whenever there is a moving, whenever there is a pumping, there is a disintegration. There is a degeneration. There is a dryness. There is a friction all the time. Whenever there is a movement, there is friction. And whenever there is a friction, there is a degeneration. There is a disintegration. There is a separation of the molecules. But we want to protect our motorcycle. We want to protect our car. We want to protect our human body. And that is why dryness, disintegration of coming up from the Vata Dosh is counterbalanced by Kapha Dosh. Now, today I am talking about Shleshaka Kapha. There are five types of Kapha Dosha. Kledak. Bodhak, Avalambak, Shleshak and Tarpak. Last two days, in last two videos, I talked about 
which one clay the cuff clay the cuff these cuff molecules are taking care of your digestive tract your central gastrointestinal system because whenever the enzymes are coming which are ushna and tikshna of pitta dosh whenever there is peristalsis is there so there must be some nutritive and lubricating molecules which are having clay the cuff as a nomenclature as a name then bodha cuff since last many videos in many audios i am talking to you i am always moving my movements of the facial muscles are there there is a movement of my oral cavity my tongue is moving my throat is having dryness because of the excess you talking so nature has taken the precaution that they pour saliva through the parotid to the submandibular to the sublingual glands there is some mucoid secretion serous secretion that saliva is nothing but the bodhaka kapha according to ayurveda now what is kleshaka kapha sandhi shu sthitaha sandhi is the sanskrit word sandhi is a joint sandhi is a joint but specially sandhi shu sthitaha here we are basically interested to talk about bony joints whenever the joint movements are there for example this is the shoulder joint this is the elbow joint this is wrist joint and my lower extremities are having the pelvic girdle pelvic joint is there then my knee joint is the most important joint why because knee joint or the pelvic back joints are taking precaution of my whole body my whole body weight is bear by my knee joint so knee joint should be always healthy knee joint is the most important joint for the locomotion of my lower extremities unless and until i move it's more important for my for my quality of life if i can't move that is called as a paralysis paralysis the person becomes handicapped how sad so we need that our vertebral column spinal column my pelvic joint lumbosacral joint my knee joint my ankle joint should have a 100% fitness but that joint should move because that we cannot keep stable no i will not move that is not possible joints are meant for movement that is called as a locomotor system locomotion is a movement locomotion is a movement movement is expected by the human body if you don't move our body our physiology is becoming handicapped i become the paralyzed so my knee joint should move but movement is because of the vata dosh and what are the qualities of vata dosh tatra ruksho lagushita kara sukshma chalo nilaha dryness is the most important feature because whenever there is movement there is a lubrication sorry there is a friction and because of friction there is a dryness because of the dryness there is a early degeneration of the cells and i want my knee joint my lumbosacral joint my ankle joint should keep me fit for 100 years and that is why the nature has taken care by providing synovial fluid remember this word synovial fluid is a lubricating fluid it's like putting oil in the garage putting oil in the garage to my vehicle to my motorcycle to my the car so if i require oil in my machinery of my car then i should have also some system in my body which will lubricate that bony joints and that is the name is called as a shleshak kaf in ayurveda so whatsoever lubricating material is in the bony joint it is called as a shleshak kaf in ayurveda that is counterbalancing the movement of vata dosha is avoiding the friction is lubricating and it's preventing early degeneration of the all bony joints so shleshak kaf can be compared with the synovial fluid it contains hyaluronic acid or lubricin all these are lubricating material as well as nourishing material it protects our all bony joints that's why we can have the long life of bony joints and that is why ayurveda also suggests some typical procedures for example we have the janu basti kati basti that is not enema that is not enema it is a oil putting on that particular place some oil 
or well is prepared by some dough of the wheat or some material and that oil is poor. Why? We have to protect, we have to give the support to our Shleshaka Kafu. So Shleshaka Kafu can be compared with the synovial fluid in the bony joints. And that synovial fluid making two important functions giving you the nutrition to the bony cartilages, to the bony edges and it avoiding the degeneration. It's avoiding the osteoclastic activity. Osteoclast is a degenerated bony tissue. Osteoblast is a new generative tissue. So, Schleischer cuff is always protecting all of our bony joints. So, to help to Schleischer cuff, I will suggest that please make a habit of application of sesame oil, warm sesame oil externally to all your bony joints, especially lumbosacral region and the knee joint. So, this is about the Schleischer cuff, which is one of the important type of the kapha dosha. So my dear friends, this is all for today. I wish you all the best. Please take good care of yourself and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.